Operator, press zero. Please stay on the line while your call is transferred to the operator. Hey, uh, who who is the who's like in charge at the jail right now? Sergeant Moore or Martin? Mm -hmm. Moore. Okay, can I speak with him? Um, her. Give me one. Sorry. Second. Yeah, her. This is Sergeant Moore. Can I help you? Sergeant Moore. Yeah. What is your email address? Uh, I got a fax number. You want it? No, I got. I, all I got is email. Okay. Um. It's T Vaughn. T V A U G H N. A U G H N, okay. Um at C O C O dot S E B A S T I A N dot A R dot U S. A R dot U S. So Sebastian so it's T Vaughn. Uh, that T Vaughn is not your last name is Moore? Well I was Vaughn. Oh, okay. You were you were Vaughn. Okay, marriage. T Vaughn at co dot Sebastian dot ar dot us. Yes, sir. Okay. What I'm doing is I'm, I'm I, I initiated a FOIA with uh, William Dumas, and uh, it's been uh, about what 14 days now with no response. So I just uh, contacted someone, and because you guys' hours are 24 seven, I wanted to know if I could come down now, as per the okay. article, to look at the 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 footage that I requested for records. Who is this? Uh, at this time, I'm going to remain anonymous, but... As okay, then I'll, i got to go. Well, no. Yeah. Hey, I've got you on... Detention Center. Oh, the Detention Center, yeah. Hello. Uh, yeah, I was talking with uh, Sergeant Moore. I believe she hung up on me. Uh, no, I said have a good day, and I hung up. Yes. Well, yeah, we hung up okay, abruptly. what are you... Yeah, but you won't, you won't tell me who you are. You're anonymous. Exactly. I'm not going to have a conversation with somebody that's anonymous. Well, you have to, I'm as per your regulations. No, it's not. It is. Okay. We can make anonymous complaints. We can make anonymous everything. And I want to come down and look at the footage. Is this a complaint? I want to come down and look at the footage I requested 14 days ago. Well, then you'll have to get... You made a deal with Dumas, so get with Dumas on that. No, I can't. Dumas is not in his office at this time, but you're open 24 hours a day, That's and therefore right. susceptible... Yeah, but not inside. We're, we're extremely busy right now. I'm sorry, but the, as per the Freedom of Information Act of 1967, major availments okay. at subsection well, 8... Day and don't, don't keep calling back. You'll have to come up here and talk to Captain Dumas. Do this to me again and and, uh, and deny me the freedom of information. I'm gonna file a claim against you and your and uh, your position. Okay. Okay. All right. There it is. She doesn't.
seem to even care that she's held by these rules. I'm going to post a picture right now of the subsection 8 where it says that 24-7 the jail is open. Therefore, it's uh, open for operation, open for people to come down and view these records. I'm trying to view the footage of the officer when she stole my ring. And this sergeant, the person in charge of the jail, is unaccommodating and uh, obviously doesn't think she can get in trouble. Who's this? Sergeant Martin, Fort Smith Police. Sergeant Martin, did I just speak to uh, uh, an Officer Martin? You did. Different people? No relation. Huh? Okay. Two different people. Relation. All right. How did you? How did you know? My, oh, man, I didn't even give my name, and and you guys know that. But so what happened was on June first, at uh -huh. at four thirty p.m., I called to give a report over a. Uh, uh, Bailiff McCaslin's going through my phone without a warrant. She showed up, Officer James, and uh, took me to jail instead on a failure to show cause. I did show cause, blah, blah, blah. That's that's for something else. I, I'm fighting you guys on that one in a different aspect. But she took me to jail, and when I got to the booking area, she, well, I requested about a dozen times to see my warrant. She never complied. When I got to the booking area, she took my personal belongings and walked into the other rooms with it, uh, including the offices where I couldn't see her. And uh, I'm missing a ring. It's a 10 karat gold ruby ring. It's a vintage one. It's worth a lot of money. And I've requested the FOIA information. However, W. Dumas is not complying with that. So I'm I'm right now actually in the middle of emailing Leslie Rutledge and the, uh, the Federal FOIA Act uh, government website. Okay. But I'm trying to get the video proof of this girl stealing my uh, rings. Ring. Singular, and uh, I haven't, I've yet, it's been 18 days, or it's been 14 days, and I've yet to receive it, so I think he's got, I think, possibly one more week time to get it to me, but until then, I need to go ahead and file this report. I've been waiting on this FOIA, but I don't have it yet, so I'm going to go ahead and file this against Officer James, the black female uh, officer. She said she's been with us, you guys, for about two years. Yeah, she's been here more like four years, but okay, so... You're saying that she stole your ring. I'm saying my ring came up missing, and the only person to have my 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 property in their possession and moving about with it was her, and that was the time of booking. She took my property from the table it sat on, the you know the bench there, the desk, and she walked into other rooms holding all of my property. When I left the jail, the ring wasn't there. I went back the following day, or that next morning when I got out, I went home. I came back to get the ring, or to get. Uh, you know, go do my FOIA for it, and uh, the guy was rude, said he didn't know, so I just did the FOIA request at home, but yeah, she was in possession of my things, walking through the office areas, where I could not see her, why would anyone take your possessions, and move into other rooms, while you're being booked, is the, my question, well, I mean, she just probably didn't want to lay them down there, so anybody could pick them up, well, I was you worried about her picking them up. A sensible idea? Or no, 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 no. I mean, you're worried about her stealing your stuff. Is that what you're saying? I, she did. Is what I'm saying to you. And the the the, oh. the the thing is, if there wasn't a bunch of other jail employees there, I could understand maybe possibly her doing that. If there were just two inmates out there, I don't know what an inmate would do with a bunch of rings. Uh, anyway, but she took my personal property and she left did the booking area. Huh? Describe this ring again for me. I'll show you the receipt and I'll get send you pictures. It's a vintage 10 karat gold vintage ring with a large square ruby in it. It's very old. It's like uh, early 1900s. Okay. And it's felony range. That's the only thing you're missing out of all your property. Yeah, she took one ring. Uh, go figure, huh? She left the Rolex, she left the gold necklace, took one ring. I will say this. I don't think one ring is worth somebody's career. I, I'm not asking okay. for your opinion, Sergeant. I'm, I'm just yeah, filing my report with you. For my opinion. And I'm filing my report uh, with you. I'm going to look into it. I'm going to watch the videos. I'm going to call the jail and see if I can get the video over there. Okay. I want you to also uh, talk to Internal Affairs and make sure they know that this is uh, being filed. Okay, well, uh, at 
this point in time, I have to do my investigation, and then if I think it's warranted to go upstairs, I'll send it upstairs. I don't think that's right. I think uh, Internal Affairs gets it, too. Well, I mean, you, you can feel free to call up here and contact them at your own if you'd like. Okay. I said I have to do my investigation first. First, okay. Well, why don't you trust me? I don't even know you. The accountability team, they're not going to do anything anyway. I mean... Because that's not how we function. Oh, really? You, you call me and ask to file a complaint. I do my investigation, and then I send it upstairs to them so they can do their investigation. Hmm. How long will it take you to complete your investigation? I don't know. I might be able to get done with it tonight. I, I, I can't guarantee it. It just depends on what kind of cooperation I get from the jail at this point. Okay. Well, I've, I've, I've you the body camera footage and, and everything else. So. Sure, I've, I've already got the body cam. I just couldn't get the jail footage yet. Dumas is dragging his feet. Okay. Well, uh, let me ask you this. Since you've got the body camera, did you watch it? Can you see that ring on the body camera? Yeah, and I see. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, you can. Plus, in the car, I mentioned I call, I'll name every ring while I'm in the back of the vehicle. I actually was hesitant to bring all the jewelry because I had a, a necklace stolen before. Uh, but it was recovered. Now, now, keep it in mind. It was recovered when I called and filed the report. A lady who was very nice found my necklace and brought it to me. But uh, this time I was just nervous because I had all my jewelry on. I wasn't planning on going to jail. I didn't know there was a warrant uh, because I had showed cause and everything. But anyway, so I named off every ring. You'll notice when I'm in the back of the patrol car, I name all the rings. I'm like, and then I named the Rolex watch, all the necklaces, what carats they are, what type of gold, et cetera, et cetera. And then when I get there, I ask the jailer to put specific items in, like the Rolex watch, the, you know, the vintage 10K ring right. or the ruby. And uh, he, he denies me that request. He says, I'm just going to put 13 rings, two necklaces, and a, and, and a watch. So. Okay, well, I mean, that's, that's between you and the jail. I don't, I don't have any control over what they do over there. Well, you're all cops, though, but I get it. Well, no, I would do it. Different agency. I don't. They're not in our chain of command over here. So okay. Yeah, I've, I'm. Yeah, I'm dealing with that on 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 with through the sheriff's department. I understand. Uh, I'm just letting you know that uh, I don't have the specific on my bookend sheet because they were they wouldn't do it. They were being lazy. Right. Right. But I name off all the jewelry in my possession while I'm in the back of the vehicle, and I start naming it off when they're arresting me. And I even got a still photo from the body cam footage of one officer pulling a, a ring up, or maybe it's the Rolex and looking at it. He then dropped the Rolex and the and a ring trying to break him, but he didn't. He was unsuccessful. Okay. So, well, uh... Let me look into it and see what I can find out. Alright, Sergeant uh, Martin. Appreciate it. Yep. Thank you.